Okay. Just in case I didn't take, I'll do it again. All right. That brass bar, uh, what I failed to tell you, is a resistor bar. All right. So on this list, it's, it's R10. 45K ohms. Tapped four times. That's tapped four times at 10 mega ohms and once at 5 mega ohms. All right. Crank this thing on, let it, let it warm up. Really need to get me a solid iron holder. Something here I can use. Meanwhile, I'll just set it up on this thing. Get my desoldering iron warmed up as well. Got to label this thing. All right, I have labeled these connections, okay? And uh, what I did was I went down to Radio Shack. I didn't have any labeling tape. I, I was just tired of trying to find something to label with, so I went down and bought some of these wire and cable markers um, which I really don't like they came in uh, sheets like this they're they're quite wide and big so there's like six of them on this sheet I don't know how many sheets are in there but probably about ten you know, or less and I cut them into thinner thinner pieces um, I like I like the more professional type uh, cable markers that are on a cloth back, white tape. I don't know what they call it, uh, but but they I used to use them for uh, marking network cables when we pulled network cables through buildings. Uh, now the labels, I just labeled these things to match. Uh, Either the capacitor, the wrist resistor, or the pin, or whatever it was that they were connected to, and um, that's you know just what made sense to me. It may not make any sense to you. Now, while I was at it, and since I was having to having to determine a pin out on these things, uh, what I did. Here's something you can find all this kind of stuff on the internet, and uh, you know, like these last two tube types, these the, the uh, six pin and the seven pin, are you know what's associated with this? Um, Twelve A seven. It is a uh, seven pin. Tube. 
and the 6E5 is a 6-pin tube, right? And uh, on the schematic, I had already gone through the other day and had labeled, had uh, written down the pin numbers uh, of the pins. And then, like uh, on the 12A7, on this, on this schematic, it shows, you'll see three tube symbols. Well, actually, two of these, this one and this one, make up one tube, the 12A7. It's divided into two parts, basically the rectifier section down here and the amplifier section. All right, the amplifier being at the top of the tube and the rectifier being down at the bottom of the tube. Well, since I was looking at all those pinouts, trying to, so I could label these, uh, so that I could label these wires how I needed to label them. Uh, I was just, I had to, uh, I was checking, I was, I was seeing the resistors up here and I just thought I might check a few of them while I was there for their values. And, und, since I didn't remember this, I'd done none of this about a month ago, there are several that need replacing. Um, however, uh, there are some that are very good. Now, like I said, this, this device was made back in the 30s, late 30s. So, uh, now these, these resistors will usually go up in value, or, or up in, uh, their values will increase. Let me put it that way. And it's, um, that's very apparent in, in the measurements that I took. The ones that were out were higher by about a, um, I would say, uh, out of the tolerance range. Now most of these are 20 plus or minus 20 percent. So like on a half a meg resistor, a 0.5 meg resistor could, could be up to 510 or 5 point, uh, or 0.51 that only, yeah, that would be ten. That would be twenty percent, or it could be four ninety point four nine. Now, these were measuring like in the sixes, point six one four, point six one five for one, and point uh, six four for the other. So, and and these they're they are over here coming off the twelve A seven. Okay. And then I have one resistor that, that's on the uh, 65 tube. It goes between two of the pins there. That uh, is way off. It's like double its value. It's, it's almost doubled its value. So it, it needs to be replaced. And um, however, uh, like I showed you on this parts list, the capacitors that were extremely high tolerant, tolerance, that is, not... And, um, oh, let's see, there are also resistors that are extremely high tolerant. Well, not for that day, for that day and age, they were high. The point, the plus or minus 5% resistors. And I have a plus or minus 2% resistor in there as well. Okay, and those are the ones that are labeled here, 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 and here. Um, the plus or minus fives, that's not a problem. The plus or minus two. Now we'll see something over here that's interesting. Matched, 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 matched. These are matched resistors. All right. And I spent quite a bit of time trying to figure out what they were matched to because their values. Let me find here again. Matched five matches. First of all, there's only five matches. Now, what is that? They usually matches come in pairs, don't they? Uh, and then, so it's R two, three, four, five, six, and yeah, just two through six. Three, four, six yeah, and. Uh, what are they matched to? 
What are they matched to? That's the question. Now R3 is a 6 watt resistor. I assume that's a, some sort of power resistor. I haven't, I don't know where it is right now. I'd, I'd have to, uh, what is this one? Big dog bone right here. I don't know, is that all blurry? No? Okay. Yeah, the big green dog bone resistor here. Uh, that, that is on the button bar here. On uh, between C3 and C5. No, sorry, C1, 2, C2 and C5, uh, C4. Between C2 and C4. Which, and I'll just show you. Down here on the schematic, they're showing you the buttons. Alright. And on the top of the button, you'll see a C1, C2. This one's off. Alright. So anyway, but these buttons in the schematic, they're just called out randomly. Three, like here's a 3C. Alright. A 3C. Now that doesn't necessarily mean, don't confuse it with C3. It's 3C, which correlates with these three buttons that are on the side, 1, 2, and 3. All right, so it's button 3 over here and terminal C on the button bar, which, uh, so for that one. So that's just, a, that's just an example of how confusing this schematic was for me as a beginner. I was just like, wow, I, I can, but, uh, when I trace back some of these coming off of the 65, we had a 1F. That correlated back to button 1 over here and terminal F. Um, so where are C1, C2, and C3 in the, in the schematic? They are up here in the corner on R. This is R2, okay, which is the on the list R2 is the potentiometer, okay? R1, right here, I have labeled as a, uh, hold on to me. Sorry for the camera work. All right, so R1 this this symbol here is the rheostat. It's the sensitivity voltage switch. Capacitors coming off of that. And then we have a capacitor coming off this end and then we have a, a potentiometer coming out of that right off of that thing as well. So the buttons down here 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, C. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, B. And uh, there's a 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, A. Um, well, not... No, there he is here a five six seven eight nine a but this is the this this is the um, that's resistor bar it's a uh, 
it's a confusing, it's a simple device, it seems simple. It's, uh, other than the buttons, uh, which is there's a lot of uh, terminals on these button bars. But there is, uh, you know, uh, a few paper capacitors, a couple of, uh, and I went ahead and cut these electrolytics out. They were uh, just getting in my way when I was trying to do uh, the measurements. So, uh, or trying to, you know, route the wires and whatnot. I'm going to go ahead and start unsoldering, desoldering these, okay? And then uh, there's still a bunch of stuff that's soldered underneath. Like, like there's a couple wires here. This is coming. Uh, one of the uh, grounds of, of the electrolytics were coming here, going through this resistor and coming down here. And this goes over to the button bar the to um, button one. So there are, you know, going to be some wires in this hole here up front that are coming down to the power transformers and so forth. So I'm just going to take this, uh, take these off and then uh, be back.